Hi and welcome to my channel, I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a Psycho Killer. Yesterday, for those who missed it, I made a um, cacao nib infused uh, Campari. I was gonna space these two videos out, but this is, I'm filming back to back, so this is yesterday's drink, the uh, chocolate coffee Negroni. And it is absolutely delicious. I'm, I'm really loving it. So I want another one. Um, well, I want to use that uh, cacao nib infused Campari. So I'm just back to back uh, instead of spacing it out. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I was going to try and do a simple cocktail in between, but I've got a fair few ingredients on the bar. Makes it difficult for some people. I'm sorry, but I really want to try this drink. Uh, this is made by Gillian Voss, or I think that's her name, uh, from 2014. Um, it was on the third menu at De the Dead Rabbit. Uh, I believe it's in New York City. I should have checked that beforehand. Anyways, uh, I'll link to their cocktail book in the description below as well. They're a really well-known cocktail bar, I'm sure plenty of people have heard of it. Um, and this is an Irish whiskey cocktail, which is another reason I wanted to give this a try because I really haven't done that many Irish whiskey cocktails. Uh, I don't have many in the, in the cocktail app um, and people have been asking me to, so. Uh, it calls for 60, ooh, that's the last of what I got. Uh, 60 mil, two ounces of Irish whiskey. The original recipe does call for red breast 12 year, but tealing's what I have. And then the cacao nib infused Campari. For those who missed it, check out the video from yesterday. Uh, otherwise, it's simply a tab one tablespoon to 250 mil of Campari. Let it macerate, let it steep for 12 to 24 hours and there you have chocolate Campari. Absolutely delicious. So 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce, 15 mil of banana liqueur. I'm using Giffords, Giffards, however, however you like to pronounce it. And then a white creme de cacao. So another chocolate liqueur. Got the cacao, the chocolatey flavors in the in the Campari that I've got to partner with this. Uh, there's a, a few sweet flavors in this, um, but there's a big slug of Irish whiskey and a couple of dashes of absinthe. So there, so some interesting flavors. Um, Irish whiskey, banana, chocolate, bit of Campari, anise. That's why I'm intrigued to see how this goes. So fill the mixing glass with ice, give it a stir, 30, 30 seconds. Interesting aromatics, banana and anise. Chocolate and banana do go really well together, so don't know about all the other cocktails, but these guys know what they're doing, so I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Into a chilled coop. Strain it straight in. Um, I should have checked. I, I don't even know what kind of garnish that they they utilise, but I'm going to leave it ungarnished. And they have a psycho killer. I haven't filtered out the um, cacao nib infused Campari, so I can see a few particles in there, uh, a few oils, but that's just flavour. So, cheers. Yeah, wow. That's tasty. Um, chocolatey banana, chocolatey bitter banana. I don't actually get too much of that anise flavor, but it, it's there. It's just very subtle. 
I, I do really like this combination of chocolate banana and Campari. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit excited. This is delicious. It's very, it's very smooth, um, but it's rich, it's intense. It's not overly bitter. And you get a lot of that banana flavor coming through. There's another good one. I'm going to have to make another one of these. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.